I fell in some water and got hurt in a grocery store. Is the store owner responsible? Hi, I'm Dave Gladhorn. I'm an attorney in West Palm Beach representing injured people. And that's a question that comes up a lot. And the answer is to the question, is the store owner responsible? Unfortunately, it's only maybe. Because only under certain circumstances can you seek compensation from the store owner. The store owner is not responsible if you just fall down, all right, because falls happen everywhere. He ha you have to prove some type of responsibility. You have to prove some type of fault, as the law calls it. And there's two basic ways to do that. One is that you prove what they call actual notice. Now, actual notice would be where the store employees actually saw the condition and failed to correct it or failed to warn people about it. And we've all seen these situations where there's a spill in aisle three and they put up the cones and they warn people. The other way to do it would be through what lawyers call circumstantial evidence. That would not be direct evidence, but that be other evidence that would tend to lead you to the conclusion that they knew or they should have known. And the reason why I say should have known is this. If you come to my house, you may be one of 10 people that come there in a, in a, in a, in a week. But if you go to a grocery store, you're one of thousands of people that go in there every day. And the grocery store owner has an obligation to keep his or her premises reasonably safe. And that means under the law that they have an obligation to do regular inspections of their premises because they all know. They know there's, there's people that are going to have things that are dripping off their uh, grocery cart. They have frozen foods that are defrosting a host of things, grapes that fall out that little kids are eating and they fall out. So they have an obligation to, uh, to monitor their store premises to make sure they're reasonably safe because you have to understand something. The customer is not encouraged to look on the floor. The customer is encouraged to look at the pretty colored boxes up on the shelves. So that's one of the ways you prove that is that they didn't do regular inspections or maybe at the site you can show through witnesses, your own client, or, or through uh, other witnesses, that there's an indication that this water has been there for a long time, like dirty, dirty tracks going through it. So those are the basic ways to do it. Here's why you need to know these things. It is because in order to recover for your injuries, if you fall in a, in a store, in a grocery store, we as lawyers need to be able to prove that the store owner was responsible in some fashion. A lot of people lose these cases because they're not able to prove that. And that's why an experienced lawyer is essential in these cases. You watching this video because you have questions. Call me. I can answer them. And then let me give you the benefit of my experience. Go to davidgladhorn.com where we have a lot more content, a lot more videos that will help you make the right decision. And if you found this video informative I and mean, you think that it would help your friends with this information, hit the like button at the bottom. I'm Dave Gladhorn. I want to thank you for watching this video.